we will pay a price, even in our own time, and we will impose a devastating cost on our children and our children's children unless we come to grips with this basic reality. And ladies and gentlemen, 21 years after the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, we haven't even begun to change direction. No place escapes. I don't care how sophisticated, how rich, how clever you think you are. And they think they're pretty clever on Wall Street, just a mile from here. But they were underwater a few months ago. It took one month to restore the power. We had the hottest month in instrument history in the United States last summer the hottest year on instrument record, the worst floods, the biggest drought. And do you think we talked about this? Almost not at all. Because politics has found a way to keep it off the agenda. We're just happily drilling and fracking and doing everything else without taking into account reality. All over the world, drought leads to famine, leads to war. The Horn of Africa, Yemen, Central Asia, the Sahel, this is not accident. Hungry people fall into violence, terrorists take over, demagogues, desperate people. That's what happens with drought and hunger. And we're going to have a lot more of this unless we start paying attention.